was your first job? I was I was the uh, ticket taker uh, at the old cinema in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. Because I remember I was 16 and I just started driving. And there were two girls that worked at the theater with me. And they were about a year or two older than me. I thought they were kind of hot. And there was an R-rated movie. My mom wouldn't let me work. And I remember going home and said, Mom, you're killing me. I said, I, you're, I can't face these girls, man. You're killing me. What was your first car? A 67 Mustang. My dad, I guess, sold it to my high school baseball coach when I left for college because he opened it up and there was a beer can in the, in the <laughs> front of it. And he said, yeah, I knew where I got that. <laughs> Best advice you ever received in life and who gave it? My dad. He said, see the ball, hit the ball. If you don't see it, go back and sit down. <laughs> and I kind of lived it out to, a, to an extreme. He taught me to love and respect the game. Mm -hmm. And he was never my coach. He was my dad, but he knew I was watching. And it was really powerful. I, I, mean, I knew how lucky I was. Favorite Cleveland eatery? And you can't say your new pizza place. Yeah, no, but that is gonna be, <laughs> oh my goodness, what's it called? Uh, Luca? Luca, Been absolutely. there a couple times and really like it. Yeah, good food. But I could go to Pizza 216. Sure. I can go across the street to Saigon. But I mean, I'll go to the casino and have one of those corned beef sandwiches. And that's good enough for me. <laughs> You've been eating ballpark food for so long. It's forever. Easy. Yeah. Forever. All right, very good. Tito. Jay. Thanks, man. You got it, man.